Tell us about an average day for someone like you, Alessandro. Honestly, it's non-stop, a constant thrill ride. And the chasing of these thrills is why you became a serial killer. I actually first got into serial killing when I saw Saw. You, you saw Saw? Yeah, I saw Saw. Have you seen Saw? No, I have not seen Saw. I just thought you might have seen Saw too. No, as I said, I haven't seen the first one. Anyway, I first got into serial killing when I saw that masterpiece. How many have you killed? Numbers aren't that important. Just a ballpark figure. I haven't actually done it yet. You haven't actually done it yet. Like my mother always says, it's the first time for everything. It's true for riding a bike. Why not murder? I haven't actually ridden a bike yet. where serial killers secretly gather to trade war stories, share tips, tricks, favourite kill spots. We even offer each other advice on our gimmicks. This is the essential place for a beginner serial killer like myself. Here they even put on a terrific spread. I mean, obviously you are aware that this will be broadcast. Yeah, I get it. A lot of people think I'm crazy. Alessandro, you're a serial killer. You're supposed to be hiding from the law, not broadcasting on television. Mm -hmm. But all the best serial killers, they have legacies. You've got Jack the Ripper, Ted Bundy, the Joker. I, I get it. The last two are fictional. We've seen the films, we know. But how do you get a good legacy? By killing. No. Marketing. There he is. Ben Downs. The main event. He is the serial killer. So cool. Number one on the most wanted list. That was a typo. The feds were looking for Ben Towns. I'm pretty sure it still counts. So like the idea is, you guys follow me around, catch a few of my fledgling kills. I pass away in some cool cop car chase or old age, I haven't really decided yet. As soon as possible. If we can get this done as soon as possible, that'd be great. Or you guys or your family could release it. You get the rights to the story. I get the infamy. Sounds like a win-win kind of situation. No. Yeah, I guess it's not quite a win for the people like Hill and their families, no. So it's kind of a win-lose-lose, win-lose situation? Does that work for you guys? I want Gary on the phone. Someone get me Gary on the phone, now. Sounds like it could be a win. Madison! Oh my god! Guys, guys, get close up. This is my good friend and fellow serial killer, Madison Carter. We've been best friends since day dot. Alessandro. Hashtag couple of besties. Why are you telling them all of this? Oh, it's just a show, don't worry. Give them a smile. No. So, tell me a little bit about why you became a serial killer. I got into serial killers at an early age. I watched a true crime documentary on Netflix and it became my whole world. I have a stream persona where I'm this independent woman that murders anyone that wrongs her. 
Right, yeah, so a, a little bit like a, a like a femme fatale. Mm, kind of, yeah. So how many have you killed? Say that again. How many people have you killed? Define killed. As in no pulse. Well... <sighs> Alright. I'm making cheesecake for the family. Don't forget mum's vegan. Cheesecake is vegan. <sighs> right? So anyway, my kill room's getting there. I mean, some people say beige is not a really serial killer kind of colour. But answer me this. You see a guy approach you in the street wearing beige? You intimidated? No, probably not. Anyway... I need to go to the bathroom. We can't leave now. We have the best seats. I did ask you if you needed to go before we came. I know, and I didn't need to go back then. If I needed to go back then, I would have gone back then. But I don't need to go then. I need to go now, so I need to go now. And besides... Everyone in here is making me really nervous. The way they look at me, I mean, they're all looking really weird. I think they might be serial killers or something. <sighs> Problem is, no one in my life has scorned me. My brother Mason is too much of a goody two shoes to ever wrong me. Yeah, he seems okay. Mm, he is sweet. But oh my god, he is undoubtedly the biggest idiot you'll ever encounter. I mean, he makes Alessandro look like a Nobel Prize winner. Well, then, then. That's more than enough motive, surely. It can be, but the problem is, is my mum. It'll make so, her laugh. with this... What the fuck do you want now? I just wanted to ask, um... Why is cheese not vegan? Because of the cows, Mason. Because of the cows. There aren't any cows in this. I will cut you. First and foremost... Ben frickin' Downs, everybody! Woo! Yes. Uh, as I was about to say, it is an honour for me to be here today. The honour is all ours. Yes, it's good to see some new faces. Luckily, the police sketch artists are all a bit shit, otherwise there'd be less of you here today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the speech, shall we? My primary motive for being here today is to shift a few of these. This details my progress from killing a pet hamster all the way through to the slaughter of a busload of lawyers. Oh. Wow. Well, what have the sales been like? Well, not too good, to be honest. But that's my fault. This is pretty damning evidence, so I've been a bit reluctant to sell it to anybody until now. I'm allergic to the idea of going to prison, you see. <laughs> well, you probably shouldn't have written it all down then. I'll now take questions. Yes, you sir. Uh, yeah, can I go to the bathroom, please? I am Sebastian Glenn. I'm the founder of this killer convention. It's an event where serial killers from all around the world can come together, share horror stories, and spend money. I'm especially fond of the spending money part because it all goes to this guy. Mm, right, okay. Um, so what started all this? Are you a serial killer yourself? Well, the uh, convention keeps me busy. I don't have a lot of time for serial killing anymore. That, and I am morbidly afraid of blood, I pass out the very sight of it. Uh, I don't mind a bruise, I love a bruise, um, but blood, no, not for me.
you come to KillCon? Oh, well, I mean, I, I adore KillCon. Um, I love everything about it, to be honest. Um, like, they, they have people who, like, make, like, actual, like, masks that completely conceal your identity. They're, the weapons are insane. Um, and you can design your own wanted poster as well. Like, that is amazing. That one's my favorite. Um, so, so my thing, my thing is, um, I am very big on the whole locking the person in the basement. Um, uh, but we're, we're in love. So, like, it's, it's, it's cool. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, so, like, I'm not, I don't plan on killing them or anything, but, um, you know, like they say, love hurts, so just, you know, just to, just to be safe. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm pretty certain right now that, like, 97% sure that I have the one locked up. Um, like, literally, quite literally a keeper. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just, I just know <laughs> that I'm, I can treat her right, and, like, sure, she's in a cage, and a lot of people have opinions on that, but I, I absolutely take care of her five-star treatment. She is fed, she is watered, she is... Yeah, so like, if I had a killer name, I think I'd go with The Killer. I mean, I know it seems a bit simple, but A, it's not taken, and B, it comes around full circle when you think about it. How about the walrus? The tea bag. Douche beetle. <laughs> So, what would you say is your kill style? Oh, yeah. I'm all about the insurance payout. I find the rich men, I make them my rich husband. Take out the insurance, take out the husband. You... you bump them off? Oh yes. They always expect the sex, darling. And then they have the mysterious accident of falling down the stairs, falling into the mouth of a crocodile. <laughs> happens. Then of course the next logical step is to cut their phone lines. Nowadays of course everyone's got mobile phones and apparently you can alert the emergency services from an app on your refrigerator. Really? It's a fast moving industry. So Madison! Madison! So can I get the tenner please? There's a stall over there where I can burn my fingerprints yes, off. Yes sure whatever. Hi. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. So sorry. Carry on. So you must have a serial killer name. So call me the uh, widow, but there are a few widows out there. So, so call me the mauve widow. The, the mauve widow? Why mauve? All the good colours were taken. And don't get me started on Alexa. It's a real game changer for everyone. It's Alina. My name is Alina. <laughs> Mason! Oh, you are stupid, you are ignorant, and you have no discernible skills. Your gross incompetence has lost you every single job you ever had. And that does not surprise me, because you're grossly incompetent at everything you've ever done. A company for birth from the exact same designer. You're ludicrous. She thinks I'm ludicrous? <laughs> All right, up top. An evil mother origin story would have been absolutely divine, but unfortunately I was never beaten or mistreated in any way as a child. I am so lucky to have Madison as a daughter, you know? She has excelled in everything she's ever put a hand to. Is it at all possible that you're slightly too overbearing to the point where you're emotionally suffocating? Your no, daughter? no, not at all. I'm simply supportive of almost everything she does. Almost everything. Mm, I do kind of hope she grows out of that serial killer phase. <sighs> I'm sure given time she'll move on. Took a while, got finished in Yo, Benny Ben Benz! Loved your book, man. Read it cover to cover. I haven't sold any yet. How on earth did you get a copy? Um, I have my ways. Hmm? Favourite chapter? Oh, so many to choose from. Oh, five, definitely five. I laughed at every page. The one where my mother died of cancer. Was that five? And my six? father committed suicide the exact same day, leaving me in a broken foster care system. That one? Um... Yeah, maybe it was seven. Probably, probably, yeah. Ah, oh, I hear Vinny Soto calling me. Um, 
Yo, Vinny Vinny, Vinny Brino! I'm Vinny Soto. Twat. Do you play? Yeah, with myself. Are you under the impression that these people are your friends? Uh, that's what I love about this convention. It's a real bond, a sense of family. I mean, I'd die for any one of these people here, and I know they'd do the same for me. I would set him on fire. He makes me throw up when I look at him. He gives serial killers a bad name. Maybe he can be my first kill. I don't even think he knows who I am. Who the hell keeps inviting him to these things? Can't he tell security to throw him out? He's a paying customer. I can't just throw him out. How many people are not coming each year because they're worried about bumping into him? I know the spit of Satan isn't coming this year because of him. Spit? What? Love that guy. Great across the cheek. Really? I would not have guessed that. Gentle hands. Here the gang is. Benny Bennington Benzino. Don't call me that. Glenfer Lopez. Mad Manny. Oh. Lady Stalin. That is really offensive. Yeah, right. I've had this great idea. I reckon we do Secret Santa this year. Five pound limit? Why are you here? Because it's the best event of the year. Am I right? High <laughs> five. Yes, this is the best event of the year for serial kids. Have you killed anyone? Yeah. I've killed loads of people. I killed someone last night. How? A gentleman never kills and tells. We are not gentlemen. No. We are murderers. How did you kill them? Oh my god, it was so cool. So much blood and guts and stuff. She goes, No. Please don't kill me. But I looked at that look, you know? Ben knows the look. I do not know the look. Well, I looked at the look and I go, sorry, I'm gonna kill you now. I stabbed her. Where? Right in the face. Ooh, the face is horrible. What can I say, Sebastian? I'm a horrible guy. I'm sorry, but I won't apologize for it. This is a nonsense conversation. You are a stupid man. I am the most feared serial killer in this room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was invited as the guest speaker, Alina. Clearly I'm the best killer here. Hired by moi, founder of the con, and by default, best serial killer, thank you very much. Yeah, the killer who's scared of the sight of blood. <laughs> He's got you there. How exactly do you kill people? Online. Online? I use cunning emotional manipulation to get under my victim's skin, toy with their mind, and convince them to kill themselves, like the master puppeteer I am. How many victims have you had? Well, it's, it's hard to say, because they sign up the chat rooms and it's hard to see who's dead and who's not. So you could have killed no one. You are not a serial killer. You are an internet troll. As for me, I will be spoken to you like this by a glorified desperate housewife. Ugh. Do you know what this means? A competition? Best killer wins. I would actually be up for that. Right. Settled. Find a victim. First one to get the kill gets crowned best serial killer. Sounds good to me. Cheers. Can I bring my brother Mason? He gets a little bit confused when I leave him on his own. Very clever. Wearing something so disgusting to fool the victim into thinking you're not a threat. Smart. This is my favourite jacket. Yeah, it's a tad boring being security for a serial killer convention. Yeah, I know. Who are we here to protect all serial killers? Exactly. Do you reckon you could do it? Not my wage, Jack. No way. You. Yeah, I reckon it'd be easy. <laughs> Would you have a fancy name? I'd go by... Jack. You'd use your own name? Well, that's the genius thing. The police would never expect a killer to have used their real name. Oh, so cool! It's my favourite part of the kill. Apart from the killing part. But the hunt is definitely my second favourite part. Go away. 
<clears throat> Victim, seven o'clock. No, it's not. Five thirty. Noah, girl, blue drink. Perfect. Female victim. Interesting. It's an interesting time for the Mary Kill serial killer. It's a modern world. We now have to cater for all the LGBTQI plus bracket. I am a very progressive murderer. I kill lesbians, bisexuals, pansexuals. I do not discriminate. Madison, what's going on? I have a competition. Whoever talks to that pretty girl wins. Oh, that makes perfect sense. I need a wee. Not be more embarrassed right now. Mum? What are you doing here? Mason texted me to say that your key on Colin had finished and that you were hanging out in a pub. So I thought I'd come and hang out with my favourite daughter. I am your only daughter. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Madison, first your brother, now your mother. You can just invite people to things like this willy nilly. I made peanut butter cookies. I love you, and you can stay. Guys, guys, look, look. <laughs> What in the love of God are you doing here? I don't think we're spending enough time together. All right? I wanted to change it. I got Mason to text me to say when you were next out and about. Okay? And I will not cramp your style. I'm a cool mom. I'm past the kids. <laughs> so, what is it that you and your friends do for fun? We murder hopeless people. Is that kind of the drugs? Right, let's get this over with. I have found her social media presence. She's called Lucy Evans. So I'm just going to slide into her DMs, break the ice with a little, you're a big, fat failure, and no one will ever love you and saint. Now we're just going to sit back and wait for her to throw herself under a bus. <laughs> Poor little troll. <laughs> You've already taken it. My friend was sat there, but he's in the bathroom. We'll be back in a minute. You are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Oh, wow. This is exactly what my horoscope said would happen. Horoscope? Oh, this is such a Virgo thing to happen to me. Let me guess. Capricorn. I can tell it's all in your aura. Oh my god, I love your hair. It's so pretty. I've always wanted to do that to my hair, but my hairdresser tried once and it just did not suit me at all. I think I'm more of an autumn person, so I tried to stick that, you know, pumpkin spice latte vibe. Oh my god, do you like pumpkin spice latte? Can our first date be Starbucks? Wait, is this our first date? Oh my god, I am on a first date. That is so awesome. My last boyfriend left me because he said I talk too much. And I was like, shut up. Excuse me for having an opinion on the world around me. This is pathetic. We've been here an hour and no one's even been injured yet. Look, I cut myself. Oh. <laughs> and then my doctor the other day, he said I'm allergic to nuts, but like not all nuts. Like I can have cashews. Did you know that cashews come from a fruit? But apparently it's not part of my five a day. But I mean, he's such a lady. <laughs> Why don't you buy me a drink? Oh, I'm, I'm a student. I don't have money for drinks. No money. You're in disguise. Oh. I am very progressive. But everyone has a limit. Poor people. Yuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I have a few minutes? Now, her first words were Baba. We think she was trying to say Bambi. <laughs> she actually had a weird fascination with Bambi. We had to get rid of the DVD because it got a little bit S E X U A M. Mum, shut up. I'm right here and I can spell. I don't hear that, Mum. Can you repeat that for me? Right, well, the hour's getting late. So it's time to show you just how a real professional does it. I'm going to kill you. First, I'm going to cut your throat so you can't scream out for help. And then while you're choking on your own blood, 
I'm going to start creating small incisions all the way across your brittle little body. I'm going to cut into your ankle, tracing all the way up your leg, past your genitalia, across your abdomen, stabbing into your chest so I can see the little bones. And My friend is back from the bathroom. Are you bothering the lady? Oh. So how would you kill your victims? Uh, it had to be an ice pick. An ice pick? Why? Well, a melt before anyone could find the murder weapon. Smart, Jack. Mm. Very smart. I don't think an ice pick's made out of ice. Okay. Okay, so Mum has taken Ben home, so he's out of the competition. Aline and Sebastian have tapped out. That just leaves me and the madinator. That's a real low point in my life. No, 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 no. I am genuinely curious. Go on, Alessandro. Show us your moves. Sit back and wait to be pleasured. If there was a way to work that, you screwed it up. Oh, hey. Have you got a light? Mine's out. Uh, yeah, a light. Yeah. Uh, the sun's a light. Great big light in the sky. I've got to go and find my fish. <laughs> that? What's the greatest thing I've ever seen? <laughs> you know, there's just a lot of pressure on being a serial killer. You've always got to be at the top of your game. Sometimes you just can't get it up. I really wanted to. I did. But today I just couldn't. And that's okay. It's okay. Madison, it's over to you. You know what? I can't be bothered. This is stupid. Let's just go back to Kilcon. No complaints from me. Yeah, let's go. You're right. You look sad. Uh, cookie? Yeah, thanks. I think I will. I mean, first, I got dumped by my Russian girlfriend. And then someone tried to kill me. Oh. And then my friend got barred for beating up the man that tried to kill me. Oh dear. It's just really tough right now. Does this have nuts in it? Oh no, peanut butter doesn't have nuts in it. Guys, where's Mason? He killed her. What? He killed her. He killed her. So Mason won the competition. How are you feeling? My own idiot brother, who hasn't got the balls to kill a spider, beat me at a killing competition. This is the worst day of my life. There is literally no worse feeling than this ever. How am I feeling? Could have been worse. Alessandra could have won. <sighs> What's the saddest drink you've got? Probably water. Make it a double. I killed that poor girl. You know what the funny thing is? I hate killing. I'm a vegan. But I need the money for the rent. Wait, who's guarding the door? You know what? I'm glad Mason won. Because the real winners are us. And the crown 
That's the friends we've made along the way. Thank you.